Hey guys, what's up? Today, I'm going to look at doing a double integral, and it says to evaluate the double integral by reversing the order of integration. I can't actually do this integral the way it's given to me. Natural log of 1 plus y to the 4 is not going to work unless I do something else, and this problem is actually going to have a lot of layers to it. So the first thing I need to do before I can actually reverse the order of integration is to know what is the region of integration that I'm using. So the region of integration that's given to me, I get that from the bounds. So it tells me that y is between the cube root of x and 1, while x is between 0 and 1. So if I graph the cube root of x, that's going to be something like x squared, but maybe a little bit steeper at the beginning, but a little more level later and then y equals 1 is about like right there, and then that hits x equals 1 right here. So this is my region of integration. It's like this little almost triangular region, but there's like a curve, you know, going on there. So to reverse the order of integration, that means I need to change these two, but I can't just swap them. I have to also change the bounds appropriately. So if I'm going to integrate x first, x is going to be a variable from left to right y goes from up from bottom to top, x goes from left to right. So if x is the variable here, x is going to go from left to right. If I'm going to integrate x first, I need to know what this curve right here is in terms of x. Well, it's given to me as y equals x to the one-third, or cube root of x. So if I solve that for x, that would give me x equals y cubed. So that curve is actually the curve x equals y cubed. Now these bounds are going to tell me that x is going from 0 to y cubed, all the while y is between 0 and 1. So it's very nice in this case, y just is also 0 to 1. So this is going to be the integral from 0 to 1, integral from 0 to y cubed, natural log of 1 plus y to the 4 dy, or sorry, dx dy. And now, you probably see what's going to happen. Basically, I'm going to integrate x, which I can do because there's no x anywhere. There's nothing crazy going with x. It's just the polynomial integration, basically. So this is going to be the integral from 0 to 1 of y cubed minus 0, which is just y cubed, times the constant, well, what's treated like a constant, natural log 1 plus y to the 4 dy. When I'm doing partial integration, I just treat the things that have y in them like a constant. So now... I'm basically ready to do a u substitution, or I'll say w because I'll need to do something later. So I'm going to say w equals 1 plus y to the 4. And dw is going to be 4y to the 3rd dy. And if y is equal to 0, then that means w equals 1. And if y is equal to 1, w would be 1 plus 1 to the 4, which is just 2. So actually, a complete substitution turns this integral into the integral from 1 to 2, natural log of w dw over 4, which is 1 over 4 integral from 0 to, or sorry, from 1 to 2, natural log of w dw. Now, how do we integrate something like natural log of w? Well, you may have memorized the antiderivative, which is totally fine. If you memorize the antiderivative of natural log of w, that's fine. But if you don't remember the antiderivative of natural, you have to do integration by parts. So what we're going to do for integration by parts is w equals, or sorry, uv minus vdu. So u equals natural log of w. That's what I want to differentiate dv equals dw, du takes the derivative as 1 over w, dw, v integrate, we get w. So we get w natural log of w minus integral of w over w, which is 1 dw. So this is really just going to be w natural log w minus w. So if you memorized that when you were taking calc 2, that's totally fine. So this is just going to end up being 1 over 4 times w natural log of w minus w from 1 to 2, which is going to be 1 over 4 times 2 natural log of 2 minus 2 minus 1 natural log of 1 is 0 plus 1. 
and this is going to be 1 fourth times 2 natural log of 2 minus 1. And that is our answer. So this integral literally could not be done without changing the order of integration in this case. And that's our answer. See you guys in the next one.